Elections are, of course, golden opportunities for special interest groups to get the attention of the voters and the politicians. And in addition to the federal election, those groups can also take advantage of a large by-election here in Manitoba. Voters in five provincial ridings go to the polls on September the 21st. Should the Filman government lose all the by-elections, the Conservative majority government is at stake. As Del Simon reports, the importance of this by-election isn't lost on some of the groups unhappy with recent provincial cutbacks. And can we count on your support for the upcoming election? For the past month, campaign workers have been working hard to get their candidates elected in five provincial by-elections. Posters are sprouting up across lawns, and hard-hitting ads like these will soon be seen on television. Take education. Five years of underfunding have meant fewer educational choices for students. Special interest groups like the Manitoba Teachers Society and the Manitoba Nurses Union are urging voters to think carefully before they choose. Government is missing the point. When the day comes when you need to call a nurse, will there be anyone there to answer? The Nurses Union says its ad wasn't prepared specifically for this by-election, but the timing couldn't have been better. No, it's hard-hitting, it's assertive. We want the public to be aware of what's happening in our health care system. Because While both unions claim the ads are non-partisan, they're clearly aimed at the Filman government, which implemented health reform and cuts in education funding. Today, the man managing the Tory by-election campaigns stood by his government's records and dismissed the ads. Well, I, think, I think it'll be seen what it's for, that the union leaders are lining up with Gary Dewar, who is a former union leader, and, and as far as I'm concerned, is a puppet of the unions, can't make decisions for all the people of Manitoba. He has a very narrow agenda. The ads will be aired starting tomorrow. Del Simon, CBC News, Winnipeg.